this is the filming of the plastic to oil machine and processing plastics into a usable oil. So a few things about this machine. Um, the plastics that it takes is two, four, five, and six, which we have some set up uh, right here. Anything from bottle caps to regular plastic containers, plastic forks, even styrofoam is um, made of a petroleum that can be converted back into oil. And the two, four, five, and six, as most of you know, um, but not all, it's a number on the bottom of all plastic material that tells the grade of plastic. And these are more dense plastics, so you're going to get a little bit more petroleum as opposed to like your bubble wrap and plastic bags, Ziploc bags are very low dense and the high dense items like these lids, for instance, um, will get a lot more of a quality um, petroleum out of that. So uh, at this time, we'll show you how to um, process by breaking down the machine and um, getting it ready. Um, it's just a basic process um, that was uh, from a Japanese inventor. So this Japanese technology is a very new age thing that's pretty exciting and we're lucky to have had the opportunity to experiment with this machine. Um, this uh, chamber here holds the plastic and this is the tube uh, which the vapors uh, travel through and then this is going to be our water tank uh, filled with water um, about halfway. So we'll walk you through those steps and show you how it's done. So these lids come off and um, this unscrews the top. And as you can see, this chamber is very well insulated, so any chance of uh, it combusting is very rare if it's done and processed correctly. So with anything, you always have to be prepared and follow the directions very carefully with this machine. So this comes off here. And if you just want to film inside so you can get a look at the chamber, there's um, a little bit of a residue, but um, that's where the plastics get loaded. So they just go right in here. We're going to put in some different lids, some cottage cheese containers. And what we usually do is process um, the smaller, um, more dense items. Um, it would, if we did have a shredder, we could, you know, use a little bit more of the larger plastic items, like your um, number two milk jugs and whatnot. But what we're mostly using is the lower dense items. Just gets loaded in. And since this is such a small machine, um, known as the desktop model, um, any kind of contaminant you want to make sure that you rinse off. But um, there are the large scale machines um, to this, and with those, you d don't necessarily need to clean. But with the smaller ones, we try to rinse these off and get rid of any residue left over. So this gets screwed back on. And this is just a plastic buffer between Connectors. I'm going to have to stop and redo this because one. So at 
this time we have loaded the plastics and are sealing this top chamber. You just want to do these four screws just hand tight. And I, there are two heating elements in this chamber, um, one toward the top and then one on the very bottom. And the first initial process brings it to about 800 degrees to melt down these plastics. Okay, so we're just going to seal these connectors. If you can see this valve here, this is just a pressure release valve. Um, and then around the back side, this is a hydrocarbon filter. And we're going to connect that to the top of the water tank. And this hole here is for us to fill up our water, which is going to come just above this uh, pipe here. And this valve here is to drain off the oil. And then this valve here is to drain off the water residue when we are done. So at this time, I'm going to fill it with just regular tap water. And every session and every oil um, making session you do, you're, you're going to replace the water every time. So again, we'll just do a nice final check, make sure everything's tight. Okay. Now we're going to switch our machine on. And it is in English, so that's helpful. And this is a fixed setting um, for your initial um, mixed oil. It's going to be set at these temperatures. But to create different types of oil, you're going to need to change the setting, which we have that configured. And there's a different oil setting for kerosene, diesel, and gasoline. So you want to make sure the oil or the filter is set to on. And this is somewhat of a foolproof system, so each step is going to prompt you to um, a series of questions that are not going to allow the machine to process unless um, you have all of these set. And it's heating. So the first initial process takes about two and a half to three hours, depending on what types of plastic you've loaded. Um, usually with the lower dense plastics, it doesn't take as long. Um, so what's going to happen here is these plastics are going to begin to heat up and melt. And then the gases of those plastics are going to travel through this tube here. And then all the way down into the bottom of um, the pipe here. Those bubbles are going to travel through the water and condense and start to rest on top of the water 
since oil and water naturally separate, they're just going to rest there, and that's when we're able to drain off um, the top when the machine is done. So as you can see, it's at about 58, 60 degrees in the chamber. So over the next couple of hours, it's going to reach about 800 degrees. And then we will come back and show the end process of how to extract the oil.